This question comes to us from Linda, mm -hmm. and she asks, how do I deal with fear while trying to process through physical pain? <laughs> yes, well, even that is a fear-based question, I suppose. Um, this is the issue that most people have with physical pain. They do not allow themselves to feel the physical pain. They're trying to suppress it before they begin. And the problem for most of us is the reason why we have physical pain is because fear exists already. So, so the problem is we need to allow ourselves to be overwhelmed by both things, both the physical pain and the fear of the pain that we're feeling. Now, most people won't allow that particular process to occur because they feel that becoming overwhelmed with it, become very, they become even more frightened. And, and instead of allowing themselves to feel their fear and mm -hmm. shake and, and, and cry or whatever it is that, was go that is going to be needed to feel the fear of their pain, they try to suppress the fear of their pain, which actually will increase the sensation of the pain yes. rather than reduce it. And then, of course, they go and take another option, and that is generally to get some kind of medical form of suppression of the pain. Now, obviously here what we're doing is we're talking about pain that is not like extreme physical pain caused from some extreme accident or sickness or disease. <laughs> like your legs cut off or something Exactly. Like we're yeah. talking now about pain that is, uh, that basically occurs every day of our life mm -hmm. and that seems to intensify under certain conditions and that we often are resistive to feeling. You will find if you allow yourself to feel and experience fear, you will allow the experience of pain and also in the experience of fear, pain will reduce, not increase. Yeah. So if the pain is increasing, it means that you're attempting to suppress your fear of it. And so my suggestion to people is allow the feeling of your fear of the pain that you're experiencing. Mm -hmm. So that's all I can suggest here without knowing the details of what pain it is and what kind of you know, things being suppressed. From my personal experience, you've helped me a lot with this issue of physical pain mm -hmm. and um, the fear of physical pain. Mm -hmm. And just through once a month, I go through quite a lot of physical pain. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it waxes and wanes, but generally when I have my period, I get a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And I used to be trying to sort of survive that pain, I suppose, and endure yes. it. And I would be quite rigid in my fear, really, of of experiencing the pain. Well, I feel you used to you used to do a lot of things besides those two things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. So, so you tried to survive it. Mm -hmm. You tried to nurse it sometimes, where you, where you would do something physical to t attempt to alleviate the pain itself, yeah. rather than focusing on what may be the cause of such pain. Yeah. And remember, the cause of all pain is the suppression of some emotion. So, so when we're trying to alleviate the pain without fixing the emotion, it's sort of almost counterproductive and counterintuitive. We'd be better off spending our time trying to find what the emotion is that we're trying to suppress that's causing our pain. Yeah. And I find most people are not even using their intellect in that direction. When they're feeling pain, generally they're trying to either get away from it, so they take some kind of pain medication, mm. or what they try to do is suppress the pain using some comfort-based technique, you know, whether yeah. that be food or, you know, a hot water bottle or, yeah. you know, having a nice warm bath or a lovely long shower or some other method that they have to reduce the physical pain rather than allow themselves to feel what the cause may be they, they are already in suppression of the cause. And in fact, all pain is the result of suppression of the cause. Mm -hmm. So if we've got pain, we're, it's already telling us, if we reflect back to how the human soul functions, the pain is already telling us that we don't understand suppression mm -hmm. and that we don't understand resistance. And that there is some kind of preclusive emotion inside of our soul that's that's causing us, that we're in complete denial of, that we're suppressed and, and resisted completely, that has caused our body now to respond to the suppression of that particular emotion. Yep. And usually it is very much related to the location of the pain mm -hmm. in the body. 
So for in the case of a woman with her period, it's located in the sexual organs of, uh, you know... The of, reproductive of the organs. The reproductive yeah. organs of the woman. So the, the, the pain is a suppression of emotion relating to sexuality or reproduction. Mm -hmm. It's got to be. Yeah. Otherwise, there would be no pain. Yeah. So, so there, there'd be pain somewhere else. There'd be pain maybe in the tummy or something like that. Yeah. If you're suppressing large amounts of fear, you will often have pain in the upper part of your abdomen, you know, around your gallbladder, you know, those kind of issues. If you're suppressing rage, you will often have kidney, liver-based issues that yeah. cause suppression of pain. If you're suppressing the emotion of uh, worth, low, low self-worth, you'll often have pain in your lower back. Mm -hmm. and, and your back will have problems. If you're suppressing pain in your shoulder, you're suppressing emotion relating to responsibility, you'll often have pain in your shoulders. If it's your left shoulder, it'll be towards women. If it's your right shoulder, towards men. Now, we could go on and on and on yep. about what body area where you're going to have pain if you suppress emotion. But if we understand the general principle, if I suppress emotion, it will result in pain. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a fact, mm. right? And we need to have faith in that fact. Yeah. So if I'm experiencing pain, it means I am suppressing something. I am already suppressing it. And I need to acknowledge that. Now, when, if we could, we could pray about that, if we involved God in that process, or we could try to use our intellect to find out what it might be that we're feeling, you know, a certain feeling about, and, and try to attempt to feel that emotion. We could do either. But at some point, we're going to have to do that. Yeah. if we're ever going to be relieved of our pain. Yeah, yeah. And I, <coughs> sorry, huh? you, yep. Um, I suppose what you have helped me with, and I, knowing Linda actually, and knowing her question and where it comes from, she, she acknowledges that she's in suppression of something and this is the cause of her pain. Yes. And she, but she's feeling like, yep, but I just don't hack it. I want to go and take a Panadol. Yes. Um, so she doesn't want to sit in the pain. Yes. So she doesn't want to sit in the results of the suppression or the suppression itself. Yes. And this is what most people do. We, what most people do with suppression of emotion is they suppress the emotion, which then causes pain, and they don't want to feel the result of their suppression of the emotion, which is the pain, and so they go and find something to suppress the pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is, uh, this is how slimy we are as individuals, actually, you know, from God's perspective. We're, we're always trying to slip out of the, <laughs> the real reason of why something is happening. And pain is always the result of a suppression of something. And we need to acknowledge that it's our desire to suppress. The pain is the direct result of our desire to suppress. Mm -hmm. No other reason. If we didn't desire to suppress, then we wouldn't have the pain. Now, when you go and take a Panadol or some other form of med pain medication, that's the label of the pain medication here in Australia, what will happen is that you're just showing that you desire to suppress more. <laughs> and what we need to do is use our intellect and our will to attempt to find out why we have such strong desire to suppress pain, that's, uh, pain and strong desire to suppress the reason why the pain occurred, which is our emotion about that particular area of our body. Mm -hmm. There's something going on inside that particular area of our body that we have had now a long-term suppressive re relationship with, that we're in total resistance of, and because it's been such a long-term problem, it's now exhibiting the problem as pain in our physical form. Mm. And we need to understand that. Yeah. So to relate um, to my example and how you've helped me, before we met, I would take painkillers once a month. Yes. And while I didn't like that and I thought it was very bad for my liver, that was the only way I could literally get out of bed and function and even then that was like pushing it. Yes. And then when we met and I felt that I, you know, intellectually I wanted to explore divine truth. <laughs> yes. I stopped taking painkillers. I stopped taking any medication yep. um, for the large part anyway yep. and um, decided I needed to feel mm -hmm. decided intellectually that I need to feel but what happened was I would still go and get a hot water bottle yep. and you could feel from me and you might have to help me with this because I, I've shifted something here and I find it hard to articulate yep. but um, you would feel from me this feeling of, and I can feel the feeling I had of trying to survive the pain, literally like this, it felt like Almost internally. A, it, yeah, what it, the feeling that, that it feels like from a per, third party feeling it is a, a feeling of the person trying 
to they're terrified of the pain mm. and they're trying to survive it through some comforting means mm -hmm. rather than just just uh, allowing the pain to overwhelm them and therefore flow through them yes and it's the suppression of the flow of the pain that actually causes more pain so it actually increases the amount of pain the person experiences and this is my experience exactly yes. what you described so you, we had a discussion, just simply one discussion about this once. And I realised I was trying to do this and I decided to experiment with just Breathing. sort of surrendering to the pain. Yes. Just a, instead of trying to, or it felt like emotionally go like this towards the pain. So rejection of the pain. That I would go into the pain and I hate using these airy fairy ways of, or so esoteric it, it, ways of. It was a, a desire uh, to feel it instead. So yes. So you allowed yourself to actually soften to the feeling of it. Exactly. Yes. And in doing that, my pain reduced. And, and sometimes it, disappeared. Sometimes totally disappeared or yeah. would be there, what, what I would usually experience for 36 hours would be there for one hour. Yes. And so that can... However. That's, can we say, that's, that's can we say where however. I'm going. Yes. The however is the actual pain still appears every month. Yes. Which is an indication that there is still the suppression of the emotional cause. So while now you are accepting the pain and you are allowing the feeling and experience of such pain, there is still the disallowance of the feelings associated with its emotional cause. Now in your case you know that the emotional cause is associated with many events in the first century relating to sexuality and also relating to um, childbirth, childbirth and also Being the torture of your death. And my death and, and so many things. There's many emotions involved that you are going to need to allow yourself at some point to, um, to actually experience and at the moment, you are still resistive to experiencing those emotions, and so the pain still occurs or reoccurs every yes. month. However, now that you know that if you resist the pain, it makes it worse, you are now not resisting the pain, and so you find it goes away within an hour or a few hours. Instead of there being days and days and days of, of large discomfort where you're almost bedridden or are bedridden, um, you now have only an hour or a few hours where you feel that way, and, and you know that you've got to focus back on the yeah, pain I and feeling the pain again. I, I spend that time, you know, I, and have intellectual acknowledgement of the causes. Yes. But allowing that pain, and um, I'm very aware that obviously I'm still suppressing the causes, otherwise the pain wouldn't exist. Correct. Um, but this process of even just allowing the surrender to pain, or, or whatever I'm calling it. Yeah. Um, has reduced my fear of all physical pain. Yes. And I suppose that Linda's question was, how do I deal with fear while trying to process physical pain? Yes. Um, so can you see that what's happened is that you've reduced your fear of physical pain, but your fear of emotional pain still remains. It's still quite high. And while our fear of emotional pain is present, it will prevent us from actually going through the process of not creating pain. Yes. So in other words, we will always create pain while we fear the emotional pain. We'll create physical pain when we fear the emotional pain. So the secret now is to go through this process of working through your fear of emotional pain, which you mm -hmm. know you've been doing for many months now. And that's the fear of emotional pain which is the main cause of the physical pain. Yeah. And, and we need to understand these relationships if we're ever going to stop them from occurring. Now, once we understand that it's our fear of emotional pain that's actually creating our physical pain, it tends to suggest that our emotional pain uh, is far greater in our mind mm -hmm. and far more uh, terrifying in our soul to feel than the physical pain is even because we're prepared to feel the physical pain rather than feel the emotional pain. Yeah. And I find this is an interesting aspect about many of us it, is that because we have shut down our souls so much and we've shut down the expression of, of, our, of the emotional pain so much, of course our bodies are going to revert to displaying to us the pain that we feel emotionally as a physical symptom. Mm. And 
And this is a actually loving thing God has done. God's basically saying, look, there's the one level of or layer of resistance that you've placed in, and that is your emotional resistance to feeling emotional pain. And when you do that, you start getting physical pain. So this is now telling you there's the second layer. Now you have another layer of choice. Are you going to also, <laughs> are you also going to, it's like completely suppress the physical pain or are you going to acknowledge to yourself, ah, this is the, you know, this is all caused because I have decided to suppress my emotional pain. Mm. And, and once we become more self-responsible, we start going, well, I actually, I don't want to keep going to this physical pain all the time on a regular basis. What I need to do instead is feel the emotional pain that creates it. Once you choose to do that, the physical symptoms will, if you find the, phys the emotional pain that caused that problem, the physical symptoms will completely disappear yeah. and the, the body itself will repair any damage that was done to that part of the body after the physical symptoms have disappeared.